I don't know what it was like for you, but India, for you, you know, I mean, I mean, you grew up in a Christian home. Maybe things were less complicated for you. I'm not sure. But following your baptism, I mean, have you, you know, has anything changed for you? Yeah, well, contrary to you guys, um, it, there was no kind of significant big switch after getting baptized. But I just felt like an overwhelming sense of peace that I had yeah. obeyed what the Lord had asked me to do. And it was kind of it, like a, for the first time in those two years where I really was like, oh, okay. It's like a sigh of relief because I was like, I've done what he's asked me to do. Um, and there was also kind of like a sense of excitement because I was like, like I've now obeyed him. And so now he can give me something else because I had been those two years, as I mentioned earlier, praying like, God, like give me something. Like I want to yeah. do something. Like I want to, you know, and I just kept feeling like I'm not hearing anything. Like, am I not listening right? Like, am I not reading my Bible? And so after that happened, I was just really excited because I was like, oh, I feel like now God can use me in different ways yeah. because mm -hmm. I've shown him that I actually can be faithful to what he asks me to do. Yeah, so, yeah. so good. So good. And I... Um, uh, you know, I do love that he does different things. And um, sometimes it is dramatic and other times it's just not. Yeah. And I mean, for myself, my, on my baptism, my, uh, the, the friend who told me I was in a cult who wasn't a Christian, she landed up, I said, come, you know, come to my baptism with me. And she did. And I was conscious of her. But I absolutely did it with faith and with obedience. And I knew it was done. Like, it's mm. done. It's done. Yeah. But I didn't have any bells, whistles, anything mm. like that at all. But, and, I, and that's just what I, you know, I think is encouraging for people to know. Yeah. It's, not, it's not about the big, you know, woof and the lights. Like, uh, God does do different things with different people in yeah. different timings of their life. And it's right. not about what you feel. This is really about an act of obedience, is yeah. it not? Yeah. Yeah. And, and yes, there are powerful shifts that can come into your life. And India says, well, no, you know, I have a sense of peace. But actually, since you've been baptized, you've read two of the most powerful Christian books that I've asked, and you've been asking me for yeah. Christian literature. Mm -hmm. And you've just been accepted into Cardiff. The moment she got accepted into Cardiff, mm -hmm. she's uh, gotten on the new forum chat for the, for, sorry, I'm making you blush. But on the, um, uh, you know, the, the forum for the mums, new Christians. Mums, mums are yeah. to. Yeah. But she's gone and she started a Christian group and she said, any Christians do you want to meet? Let's find mm. a church together. Mm -hmm. And on the first day, 12 people signed up. Sure. And one girl's like, should we, maybe we could do a Bible study together and all of this. So, you know, it's like those shifts happen, don't I, they? I think they definitely do. I'm, uh, so there was no ground shaking experience that went on when I got baptized. But two significant things did happen. Um, one was that a word was spoken over me, which was seek first the kingdom of God and all these things should be added onto you. And, and that phrase, seek first the kingdom of God, went deep into me. That's the only way I can describe it. It just, it just lodged inside of me. So for me, when I look back, I mean, this was 40 odd years ago, when I look back and think, you know, seek first the kingdom of God got lodged inside of me, which has enabled me to live the last 40 years in the way that I have lived. But also, I, I can't remember how I felt, but I can remember the, the impact inside of me, if that makes sense, mm. that I felt a deep sense of fulfillment. Mm. And it wasn't, and again, because of the way I said earlier, I didn't get baptised because people were telling me to get baptised. I, I did it because I wanted to, yeah. and I decided for myself. And that, the, the action of doing it, combined with me wanting to do it, just produce this sense of fulfillment, that I had fulfilled what I was supposed to do. Yeah. And that, attached to seek first the kingdom of God, I think just solidified something inside of me, um, which I'm very thankful for that that happened to me when I was you know, 14. So yeah, no, the ground didn't shake and I didn't see angels, um, <laughs> but, but something was lodged deep inside of me, which, which I think, actually for me, I think was what I needed more. <laughs> 